Well, hi, this is Beatty Carmichael with GetSellersCallingYou.com, and this is actually the second in a two-part video series on working with your sphere of influence as a real estate agent. And in the first video, we were talking about just some basics and what you can do to consistently touch your sphere of influence. So if you didn't watch that uh, already, then let me encourage you after this one to go back to it. Here's a simple way to do it. This video, the title is going to say like uh, whatever the title is, part one or part two, go back and look at part one, okay? And you can just type in that title and you'll find it. What I want to do on this video though is uh, we left off the last video talking about how do you uh, identify those people in your sphere of influence who are actually thinking about selling right now. And, you know, the, the value is huge, as you probably know. Right, you know, what is it? Two-thirds of all sellers choose the first agent that they interview. And you're losing sales right now from your sphere of influence and past clients. I know you are because if you're the typical agent, it's unbelievable. And, uh, and so the question is, if you can identify who are some of those people that are actually thinking about selling, where you can get in front of them first, then you're going to pick up a lot more sales. And it's a real simple process. So what I want to do is just go through a couple notes on this and walk you through that. So um, here's a little quick direct response lesson, okay? So to identify sellers, it's all about direct response marketing. Direct response marketing is that type of marketing where you send out <clears throat> some sort of what we call an offer and the prospect responds and when they respond, it's basically them raising their hand saying, that's me, <clears throat> that's the, you know, this holds interest and then whoever's raising their hand is the one that you pick up the phone and call back. So here's how it works. Real quick, simple lesson in direct response marketing. There are four things, okay? You have <clears throat> the offer, you have the headline, you have the, uh, uh, the body copy, and then you have the call to action, okay? Offer, headline, body copy, call to action. So here's how it works. Uh, in just a real simple format is um, uh, the offer is the most important thing. I'm gonna go in, into the offers in just a moment. But the offer is the reason they're going to respond. The headline actually starts to articulate that offer in a, in a nutshell so that it grabs the attention of the reader and then gets them to read the body copy. So if you think about a slide, okay, uh, uh, and there's a, uh, there's a great marketer out there that, uh, uh, named Joe Sugarman, and this is, he calls it the slippery slope, the slippery slide. So you have an, your, your marketing piece, and let's call this a, a postcard, for example, okay? And that marketing piece has a headline that grabs the attention, and the purpose of the headline is to get them to take the next step. And the next step is getting into the copy, and it slides them all the way down to the call to action, okay? So that's really what we're trying to do. So let's talk about um, uh, the offer. There are typically three types of offers that we have found that are most effective in, in identifying sellers before they come on the market. And we've done a lot of testing, okay? So I'm actually going to kind of open up our confidential uh, analysis and testing. We've done all kinds of split A-B testing and tracked everything. So the number one offer is going to be something along the lines of, I have someone thinking about buying a home and yours may be a perfect fit. Okay, that's all. Uh, so however you, can, uh, however you can word that or spin it out, because what that does is it creates a sense of immediacy. Okay, if you're thinking about selling, I might be able to get your home sold immediately because of these type of buyers I have and what they're looking for. And if you are thinking about selling, then, and then you give them a call to action. I'll talk about call to action in just a moment. So that's one offer. One of the easiest offers you can do is the home valuation, okay? The home valuation might say, if you're thinking about selling, by the way, here's the key words. Don't just say, what is your home worth? Because everyone wants to know what their home is worth, but not everyone's thinking about selling. So the focus of the headline is to weed out all those other people that aren't thinking about selling so that only those who are will actually read the body copy and then respond. So maybe what you say is, if you're thinking about selling, here's important information you need to know. Okay? So now I get the postcard. I'm not interested in selling my house. I toss it because it's only for those people interested in selling. That's how it works. If I am thinking about selling my home, I'm going to go, oh, let me see what this is, and I'm going to read the postcard, and now I'm down on that slippery slope. 
So the whole idea about the home valuation is, real simply, if you're going to put your home on the market, the first thing you need to know is how much you can get for it. So I put together a website to help make that easy. Go to the link below, you know, get your home price by Beatty.com, whatever your, your URL is, and then you simply send that to a home valuation website. If you don't know where to get it, just Google home valuation website. They're all over the place. But what they do is they allow a person to go to the website, okay, and then they enter their address, and then when they enter the address, it, it, it locks it in and registers it, and now you've got a potential address that someone's thinking about selling. And then as they go deeper into that, then at that point, you can determine maybe how interested they are. But because this is being sent to your sphere of influence list, people you already know, then when you see that address come up, you match it back and you say, oh, that's Sue Smith, Sue and Bill, my friends. So at that point, the follow-up is real easy. Hey, Sue, this is Beatty. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, how are Bill and the kids? They're doing super. Hey, you're getting my postcards, right? I said, yes. I thought so because I just got notified that last night, either you or Bill went to my website to check out what your home might be worth. Are you guys thinking about selling anytime soon? See how easy that is? Their address, you match it back to them, you pick up the phone, and now you're the first person there before they've even thought about calling an agent. What this does is it ensures that you get the call. Now the third type of offer is a free report. Something of value. Okay, so now let me see if I can explain. There's, there's another concept in marketing called the educational spectrum. What the educational spectrum says is someone has zero interest in selling their home, so they're not even looking. Once they start to decide, hey, I think I'm going to sell my home, they spend a period of time going across this educational spectrum, learning what they need to be doing, getting it ready, before all the way on the far end, they call an agent. What do I need to do? Where are we going to move? How much is it worth? How much are we going to keep? How much is the mortgage? What can we afford? Okay, All of these are questions and decisions that they're making along the way. What do we fix up? What do we repair? How do we update the house? What do we get rid of? All these things. So they're looking for information. They're sponges. And if you can offer information that will help them in their process of deciding what to do and how to do it best, then they'll respond. So that's what I call a free report offer. So you can do all kinds of offers. You can do a positive offer. The top 10 things that will get you the most money for your home when you sell it. You can do a negative offer. The 10 most expensive things that if you do these trying to sell your home, you're going to lose money. Which one works best? I'll tell you right now, we've tested this. But both sides, okay? A positive offer, something that gives them value of what they can get increased sales price, always outperforms a negative offer. And when we did our split test, we found that the difference was eight times, okay? So if that means if I send out a mailing, we got 10 people responding to the negative offer, I got 80 people responding to the positive offer. So always make your offer in the positive, not the negative. And then you gotta deliver the free report, okay? So you have a free report that you offer. So that's the offer. Now let's talk about the call to action. There are several ways you can do the call to action. The most important thing is to identify who's responding, who's raising their hand, okay? The second most important thing is to make it where they don't know that they're being identified. Because if they know that they're being identified, people don't respond. Because then I go, oh, you know, if, if I email Beatty for that report, then he's going to start contacting me and I'm not ready to sell my house and I'm not ready to engage with him yet, okay? That's, that's kind of what goes on in the mind. So they just say, well, I'm not going to do that. So anytime you offer a call to action, something for them to do, if you're trying to catch people before they go on the market, before they call an agent, we want to catch them along this educational spectrum that they're doing here, rather than at this point when they're ready to actually call an agent. Because if you can catch them here, you'll ensure that you get it here. Okay, does that make sense? So most agents, when they do a call to action, they say, ready to sell, call me, here's my phone number. What they're saying is, hey, by the time you pass all, of this, all these details and you're ready to put your home on the market, then at that point call me and I sure hope and pray to God that you'll call me and serve someone else. 
We take a different approach. We say, hey, why not just offer them information along the way that they're interested in so you can identify them, so you can call them, and by the time they get there, you've already got a listing contract in place. Okay? Makes it a lot easier. So that's the call to action, and you got to do what we call stealth. You got to identify them by stealth. So there are several things you can do. Number one, the easiest thing, okay, if we use the home valuation website, just go to this website, enter your address, and it'll find out what your home is worth. Okay, so that's easy. It doesn't take much detail to put together. Um, let me also back up and, and talk about that offer. We've tested it as well as everything I do is fully tested. And what we find is while that offer, the home valuation, pulls a lot of people, it has a small percentage of success. In other words, it's a lot of what we call false positive leads. A lot of people that are just checking out what their home is worth, they have no interest in selling. And then it does have some people who are interested in selling. So as long as you can follow up with everyone, you don't mind the follow up with everyone, then you're going to be okay. But there's some things that you can do, different types of offers that get you a much more accurate lead so that when you're following up with them, you know you have a really high success rate that they're actually thinking about selling. But those are the ones that take then a different way of response. So here's a couple of things you can do. Number one, you can use a call capture number. Call capture number, if you're familiar with it, it's just a toll-free number and it captures the caller ID. So you say, if you're interested in this, call this number now for this information. So they call, it's a recorded message, you're telling them what these things are that they need to be doing, but by the, by, simply by the virtue of the fact that they call, you now know who's called, you can call them back, okay? Real easy. Another thing you can do is... Um, uh, you can, if it's not, a, if it's too much information to give by phone, like in a recorded message, still send them to the recorded message and then say, hey, if you're interested in this uh, top 10 report, then simply leave your name and mailing address and I'll drop this information in the mail to you. Okay, so now that's a little bit easier. They're already there, so they'll probably, two-thirds technically, will typically go on and give you their uh, name and mailing address. So now you still identify them, okay? You got a phone number and now you got the address too, okay? One of the things that we do is a little bit different. Uh, you can't do it on your own technically, uh, uh, generally speaking, but it's a tracking URL. So like when we send out a free report or anything like that, each postcard has a separate URL. We track who hits. We, we track which URL is being hit. Uh, hit and then we match that back to the address that we mailed it to. So now if we're sending out 100,000 postcards, which I know you're not going to do, but if we're sending out 100,000 postcards, we're sending out 100,000 URLs, and so depending on which one's being hit, we can know exactly who it is that's responding. So that's another way to do it. There's lots of other ways, but that call capture number is probably the simplest, uh, and then that uh, home valuation website is also real easy as well. So anyway, uh, let me check my notes, make sure there's nothing I'm missing on all of this. Um, uh, yeah, <clears throat> last thing, how, should I, how could I have forgotten? If this sounds complicated and you just want to simplify it and you want someone to do it for you, this is what we do, okay? And, uh, but we only work with agents who do at least $5 million a year in, in volume and have a list of at least 100 people that you, that you met with mailing addresses. So if you fit that qualification and you like to have a demo with what we do and consider maybe hiring us to do it for you, we actually guarantee your sales, not just guarantee our end of results. We guarantee closed sales or we refund 100% of your money. It's really cool. But you can find more at agentdominator.info. So if, if this information has been helpful, I'd like to ask you to do three things. Number one, please like it, okay? Number two, please comment on this video. And number three, please share it with someone else that it could benefit. Have a great day and God bless.